Okay, let's have uh, theorem number 9. The limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0 is equal to infinity. So, we have the function f of x which is equal to 1 over x. So, let's try to illustrate this uh, theorem. So, sabi that as x approaches 0, so the value of f of x will approach to infinity or will approach infinity. So, substituting the value of the x, so we have 1, substituting 1 in the given function, so we'll have 1 over 1, so ang value ng f of x ay magiging 1. Then, substituting 0 0.1 to the function, we'll have 10. Substituting 0 0.01, so we'll have 1 over 0 0.01, so we'll have 100. Then, substituting 0 0.001, to the function, we'll have 1,000. Substituting again, 0 0.0001 will have 10,000. Then substituting 0 0.00001 to the given function, we'll have 100,000. Then, substituting this given value of x to the function will have 1 million. And so on. So, hindi yan dyan natatapos ha. So, may mga kasunod pa yan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, that as x approaches 0, the value of the function or f of x approaches infinity. So, that goes for theorem number 9 that the limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0 is equal to infinity. Okay, let's have theorem number 10. The limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity is equal to 0. Again, let us illustrate this uh, theorem. So, we have the function 1 over x. So, sabe that as x approaches infinity, the value of the function will be or will be approaching zero. So, substituting the value of x, so as it approaches infinity, so we have 1. Substituting 1, we'll have 1. Then, substituting 10, we'll have 1 over 10, so it is equal to 0 0.1. Substituting 100, we'll have 1 over 100, which is equal to 0 0.01. Substituting 1000, 1 over 1000, which is equal to 0 0.001. Substituting 10,000, so we'll have 1 over 10,000, which is equal to 0 0.0001. Substituting 100,000, so 1 over 100,000 is equal to 0 0.00001, and so on. So as you can notice that as x approaches infinity the value of the function approaches zero and that is the illustration for the lim the, the the tenth theorem which is the limit of one over x as x approaches infinity is equal to zero let's have this example the limit of one over x cubed as x approaches infinity one over x cubed can also be written as 1 over x times 1 over x times 1 over x. And uh, now we're going to apply the limit in this form. So we'll have the limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity multiplied to the limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity multiplied to the limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity. And according to the theorem that the limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity is equal to 0. So we'll have here 0 multiplied to 0 multiplied to 0. And 0 times 0 times 0 is equal to 0. 
Okay, let's have theorem number 11. The limit of 1 over x raised to n as x approaches infinity is equal to 0, where n is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, let's have this example. The limit of x raised to 5 minus 3x cubed minus 2x minus 5 over x squared minus 3x plus 1 as x approaches infinity. So, what we're going to do is to identify first the highest exponent in the whole function. So, in this given, the highest exponent is 5 and what we're going to do is to divide each term in the numerator and the denominator by x raised to 5. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so we have the limit of x raised to 5 over x raised to 5 minus 3 multiplied to x cubed over x raised to 5 minus 2 multiplied to x over x raised to 5 minus 5 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 5 over x squared over x raised to 5 minus 3 multiplied to x over x raised to 5 plus 1 over x raised to 5 as x approaches infinity. Okay, so lagyan natin ng parenthesis. So, kung mapapansin nyo, binukod na natin yung um, constant. So, kasi ganun din naman siya kapag uh, minultiply nyo, magiging uh, 3x cubed pa rin over x raised to 5, magiging negative 2x over x raised to 5 pa rin, and negative 5 over x raised to 5 pa rin, kapag minultiply nyo na siya. So, para lang mas madali natin uh, na masolve yung Limit. So, lagi nating ibubukod na yung constant. Okay? Uh, so, simplifying further, so, recall natin yung sa loss of exponents. So, we'll have here the limit of uh, x raised to 5 over x raised to 5. So, it is equal to 1 minus 3 multiplied to x cubed over x raised to 5. So, it will be equal to 1 over x squared. Minus 2 multiplied to x over x raised to 5. So, we'll have 1 over x raised to 4. Then, minus 5 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 5. All over. So, we have x squared over x raised to 5. So, it is equal to 1 over x cubed. Minus. 3, so yung x over x raised to 5 natin, is it, it will be equal to 1 over x raised to 4, then plus 1 over x raised to 5, as x approaches infinity. Now, we're going to distribute the limit sa numerator and denominator. So, we're going to distribute the limit on each term. So, we'll have the limit of 1 as x approaches infinity minus 3 multiplied to the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches infinity minus 2 multiplied to the limit of 1 over x raised to 4 as x approaches infinity and minus 5 multiplied to the limit of 1 over x raised to 5 as x approaches infinity. Then, over the limit of 1 over x cubed as x approaches infinity minus 3 multiplied to the limit of 1 over x raised to 4 as x approaches infinity then plus the limit of 1 over x raised to 5. As x approaches infinity. Then, let's uh, simplify. So, we'll have, we have here the limit of 1 as x approaches infinity. So, limit of a constant. So, it is equal to 1 minus 3. 
Then, uh, according to the theorem 11, so the limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches infinity is equal to 0 minus 2 multiplied to the limit of 1 over x raised to 4 as x approaches infinity. So, it will be equal to 0 as well minus 5. So, yun limit of 1 over x raised to 5 as x approaches infinity is equal to 0 as well. All over, okay, so we have the limit of 1 over x cubed as x approaches infinity, so 0, minus 3, multiplied to the limit of 1 over x raised to 4 as x approaches infinity, which is equal to 0, then plus the limit of 1 over x raised to 5 as x approaches infinity, which is equal to 0. So simplifying this, we'll have 1 over 0. So we have 1 over 0, so this is undefined, and we can write it as infinity. Okay, let's have the second example. The limit of 15x raised to 4 minus 3x squared minus 3x plus 15 all over 5x raised to 6 minus 2x raised to 4 plus 3x squared plus 4 as x approaches infinity. So, again, let us identify the highest uh, exponent in the whole given function. So, as you can notice, the highest is 6. So, we are going to divide each uh, term in the numerator and the denominator by x raised to 6. Okay, so we will be having the limit of 15 multiplied to x raised to 4 over x raised to 6 minus 3 multiplied to x squared over x raised to 6 minus 3 multiplied to x over x raised to 6 plus 15 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 6 over 5 multiplied to x raised to 6 over x raised to 6 minus 2 multiplied to x raised to 4 over x raised to 6 plus 3 multiplied to x squared over x raised to 6 plus 4 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 6. Okay, so as x approaches infinity, so simplifying the exponent, the uh, given, so loss of exponents, recall in your let. So uh, we'll be having the limit of 15 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 2 minus 3 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 4 minus 3 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 5 plus 15 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 6 all over 5 multiplied to 1 since we have x raised to 6 over x raised to 6 then minus 2 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 2 plus 3 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 4 then plus 4 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 6. Okay, as x approaches infinity. Okay, as we all know that uh, if that we are going to um, distribute the limit to this uh, to each term uh, in the numerator and the denominator in this given function, that if you find the limit of 1 over x squared, it will be equal to 0. As well as 1 over x raised to 4, it will be equal to 0. As well as 1 over x raised to 5, it will be equal to 0. And 1 over x raised to 6, it will also be equal to 0. So, sa denominator, so 1 over x squared, so if you find its limit, so it will be equal to 0. As well as the 1 over x raised to 4, it will be equal to 0. And 1 over x raised to 6, it will be equal to 0. Okay, so... Uh, we'll now have 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0 over 5 
minus 0 plus 0 plus 0. So, we'll be having 0 over 5, which is equal to 0. So, that is the final answer. Okay, let's have this example. The limit of 35x raised to 4 minus 3x cubed minus 2x plus 5 over 7x raised to 4 minus 14x squared minus 120 as x approaches infinity. Again, what is the highest exponent in the whole given function? Okay, so the highest exponent is 4. Again, we will divide each term in the numerator and in the denominator by x raised to 4. So, we'll be having limit of 35 multiplied to x raised to 4 over x raised to 4 minus 3 multiplied to x cubed over x raised to 4 minus 2 multiplied to x over x raised to 4 plus 5 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 4 all over 7 multiplied to x raised to 4 over x raised to 4 minus 14 multiplied to x squared over x raised to 4 minus 120 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 4 as x approaches infinity. Then simplifying again, recall let the loss of exponents. So, we'll be having here the limit of 35 multiplied to 1 minus 3 multiplied to 1 over x minus 2 multiplied to 1 over x cubed plus 5 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 4 all over 7 multiplied to 1 since we have x raised to 4 over x raised to 4 there minus 14 multiplied to 1 over x squared minus 120 multiplied to 1 over x raised to 4 as x approaches infinity. Okay, um, again, that as we find the limit of um, 1 over x as x approaches infinity, it will be equal to 0. So, ito ren 0. According to theorem number 11, it will be equal to 0 as well as this one and this one. Okay. So, we'll, we're now going to have 35 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0 over 7 minus 0 minus 0 which will be equal to 35 over 7, which will be equal to 5. And that is the final answer. Okay, so here's a tip that uh, if the highest exponent in the given function is in the numerator, like this one, the answer is always infinity or undefined. And then, uh, if the highest exponent is in the denominator, like uh, this example, the answer is always 0. And if uh, the highest exponent is both in the, in the numerator and in the denominator, the answer should be when you divide the numerical coefficient of the highest exponent. So, dividing 35 and 7, we answered earlier, it is equal to 5. So, that's a tip for you. So, ito ay, uh, for you to check that your answer is correct. So, if the highest is, if the highest exponent is in the numerator, the answer is always infinity. So, if the, an if the highest exponent is in the denominator, the answer is always zero. And if it is both in the numerator and, the, in, in, and in the denominator, you will just divide the numerical coefficient of the highest exponent. So that is equal to 5 according to our given. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thank you for listening and we hope that you learned.